These boys that we brought to the court today, all of them are adults. Most of them are married men. None of them is a minor. Some of them are university graduates. The small, small kids you are seeing here, they came with some of their parents to come and greet their loved ones. They are not even the real suspect standing trial in this case. These boys were arrested in Kaduna and Zaria. Imagine the level we find ourselves now. Do, do you know how much? Well, I like the reaction of those guys behind him. See the way they open their mouths. Because they know, say, Baba, they blow lie. Baba, they talk no better, better lie. See, Baba, they talk no be true. Saying all those children that came, all of them are adults. That all of them are graduates. That the children in the courts, uh, they came with their parents to come out. Now, children playground, they don't turn the courts to now. Now, children playground, they don't turn the courts to. Like, even though you are paid for a job, let's say as a counsel, because that man is a counsel for the federal government, even though, but can't you use your human conscience to sometimes say the truth, even though you are operating within the law? I was inside cell with those kids. Now, where it mad me when make me go court yesterday be that. It mad me. It mad me. As they arraign me when I stand for that uh, court piece, I mean, they record that thing. As I stand here, immediately as they grant me bail, I tell Barista Didi, I see Barista Didi, I don't do. I get boys inside cell where the small, small children. Now, when they tell me, then they call to. Now, me and then they call, I rush, come here, come meet you. Now, where are they say, okay, you say, I see where on a day, give me the this thing. Papa, see, I'm here now. When he send me the address now, I rush, start to the go court. Immediately as they leave me, now I start to the go. I look those children and nearly cry. Then come in here to talk, say, they be graduates. This one, provide you is a graduate. This is why I want all our big, big lawyers. No, 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 this one, our own lawyer. No, 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 this This government lawyer, better law. So let him prove what he just said. Because you won't defend government. This is your job. But ask yourself a question. If those people are your children, would you be happy? President Bola Ahmed Tinubu should release these children. If you can rehabilitate Boko Haram. Boko Haram. Where they pipe pipe pie people on the stage, they kidnap people anyhow. When I catch them, when I say when I want to rehabilitate them, put them back into the system. Some of them when I even give them when I allegedly give them army uniform. When I took them inside force, allegedly. Then are these small children of 10 years old, 11 years old, when I they charge for treason, when I no fit rehab, when I no fit rehabilitate them, teach them what is right from wrong. Those are kids that were following the vibe and the reading that was going on in their state. Need I remind you, those kids will not be outside if the government were doing what was what they were supposed to do. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu regime is the worst regime in the history of Nigeria. You enter power, there's nothing we have, we have not, I cannot, in my humble opinion, I've not seen anything that I can beat my chest to say this is what President Bola Ahmed Tinubu have done. Food price they go up. How much is rice? How much is garlic? How much is beans? How much be fuel? How much be gas where people they take cook they chop? Even the firewood where people they sell. How much be charcoal for the people they use cook pots? And you say me those children no jump up and down. I'm not gonna say what they did. What they are alleging that they did is right by flying flag. That is wrong 100%. Do you understand? That is wrong because what kind of message are they trying to send? But at the end of the day, these children are kids. You're supposed to know, say, some people put them to do these things. Look for the people that put them to do this. Thing. And if you remember vividly, this same government said that they know the people that sponsored that uh, protest. They said they know the people that sponsored the You never posted the people that sponsored the protest. You never brought them up. You never arranged them. You know, you never said it. So these small children to take a fall. To add this sort of an injury, when I can't say they go bed yourself for 10, 10 million naira. For what? For children when they even know what they carry for hand. Children when they even feel pronounce their name well. I asked one how old are you seen a potin? Potin is 14, not potin. But I can call it potin because you people did not give them a good public schools. You people did not even give them schools. 
How many schools they can know? Because when I know both schools there, they do karatu, 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 karatu. Education in the north is poor. So basically, all we see these people. Chai. <laughs> what kind of country is this? Deep end. This was a man who rigged himself into office. Agree with me or you leave it. When people like Nelson Wiki can say the mandate of people in, in River State in presidential election, what else are we talking about here? These are all called ringing. Tinebu somehow bribed himself into office with the help of judiciary and INEC officials. Today, all those people that voted for him in the north are suffering it. Including those that did not vote for him. Because why? Because he rigged himself into office. Everywhere people are suffering, hard time. The children he wanted to jail, asking to pay 10 million naira each. As if his criminal son has worked such amount of money in his life. If not because him and his son is going around deep, deep innocent Nigerians. Let Tribu tell us where his son had to work in life. This was how Tribu murdered answer protesters. And so many of you saw that upon that. You accused an innocent man. Nam the Kalahu did not do anything. Was what Tidibu is doing today is not the same thing he did in answer protest while he was not a, a president of Nigeria. He collaborated with Buhari to kill innocent answer protesters and Samuel. But because some people believe so much in tribalism, they allowed that man to become president of Nigeria. Today you can see it. It's my turn, it's my turn. Why the terrorists are in the forest in the northern part of the country terrorizing people, kidnapping innocent people, asking for ransom. So many of the terrorists came from Aye. They came from somewhere else, not in Nigeria. Even I agree with you that some of them came from Nigeria. Tribu with Shetima had refused to do anything. They kept quiet and watched atrocities upon atrocities to happen in Nigeria while people are suffering. Farmers no longer go to their farm. Every place is hard people are suffering no food nothing no water no light all Tribu could do because of some kids protested against him waving russia flag children that does not even know what that means he arrested them killed some of them the same thing he did in Lokito get with the help of buhari and the criminal military we have in nigeria is that called criminal? They are terrorist military. This is our role. I listen to very dark man. Time has come when they will start saying it is the way it is. Military cannot go and capture Boko Haram or flying terrorists that is going around kidnapping the same people in the forest in the north, trying to extend their movement to another state. Rather, they are busy capturing innocent, or should I say, kidnapping small children from the same northern part of the country. Children they could not feed, children they could, they could not offer anything to, children they could not send to school, children they could not offer a good environment for them to excel. They arrested them because they are holding Russia flag, according to them, calling Russia to come and help them. If you fed their children well, they will not call Russia to come and help them. You are enjoying their money. The money meant for their resources. Men coming out from the resources with your son. Buy refineries everywhere in the world. Your son is buying big house. Save 11 million dollars. An idiot who has never worked in his life. But today, they are going on a culture innocent children.
children that is not up to 13 years. The funniest part of it is that their lawyer came out to claim that those children were children that came to escort, escort their parents to court. I don't understand when our court has become a place of market. These are the children, the kids, they want to jail if they didn't pay 10 million naira each, which is equivalent to $6,000, if I'm not mistaken. What a shame. That money they want them to pay. People like us who lives abroad don't even make that money. If we make that money, maybe so highest highest a month. They want children who is not doing anything in Nigeria. They have no job. Their parents have no job. They want them to pay such amount of money. Some people in Europe cannot make such amount of money in a month. Some may have such amount of money in two weeks, no doubt. But some may not have that in one month. What a shame. What a shameless country. Is this country going backwards or forward? We continue to claim, some of you continue to claim that the country will work, the country will work. How can the country work when you continue to bring in criminals and terrorists in the country as president? When they come in, they will tell you it's their turn. They come with tribalism. Before you know what is happening, they will destroy the country. Do you know how much Tribunal has borrowed of recent? Joining the one that Buhari borrowed. When will the country? Some of you claim will work. When will it work? They are no longer only suffering the people. They are now telling children to pay 10 million each. Because why? Because they want to you put the money into their purse. And they can see that their judiciary is dead. Dead and gone. It's a very big shame. But we'll tell you. That this contraction can't work, take it from us, people like us. It's good as this thing happened today. So that people understand what we have been saying. Now, before I leave you, let me go ahead and read what Obi Okwesri said. According to Obi Okwesri, she said, Really, what exactly is this? Our democracy has degraded to this barbaric debt. The bedrock of our democracy is the rule of law and that means we have to have an independent judiciary judge who can make decisions independent of the political winds that are blowing. Though according to her, that is from Caroline Kennedy. Again, he said, how did Nigerian constitution become so useless that Nigerian judiciary, Arabas and JC Niger could allow such violation of the right of those minors to happen at such egregious level. The MBA Arabas Niger Bar Association, where are you? What exactly is this? Our dear Chief Just Justice of Nigeria, can we, the citizen of Nigeria, count on you for a clean sweep of this version? Of our judiciary. Those children must be swift released to their parents and guidance and outwardly compensated for the damages done them by the Nigerian state. The first so called chief judge Nigeria, we believe was bad but this one <laughs> i don't know how it's going to be <laughs> okay no, because now you understand what we are talking to this extent their lawyer was very happy in claiming that those children came to court following their mother to listen to case now our 
court now is now a place of market and children are the people selling there these children are the people they want to jail if they don't pay 10 million each what's a country Tribu should first of all go and jail himself and jail his son before trying to jail small children what is even going on in this country I think I've come to the end of this. Thank you so much for watching.